So everything's all right. No physical complaints? No, I'm feeling fine. Good. That's what I was hoping I'd hear. <laughs> it was nice of you to stop by and check. Well, I consider my pet patient now. I want to keep a close eye on it. Oh, is that all you're going to do? You know, every time I see you, all you do is check my blood pressure and weigh me and do all these run-of-the-mill things. I mean, is that it? <laughs> what, do you want it more complicated? No, I don't want it more complicated. <laughs> I'm just asking. Uh, well, other than uh, simple office procedures, that's about it until the amniocentesis. What? I'm sorry, I just thought that, that was about birth defects that was generally restricted to women over 35. Well, that's, that's usually the, the case, but, but the reason we're doing it is because we want to make certain of the paternity. I thought that's what you and Cruz wanted. I don't know about Cruz, but I don't have a doubt in my mind who the father of this child is. If you'll excuse me. Oh, of course. Uh, I've seen you. Why did you do that? What? I was going to bring that up with her somewhere down the line. It was supposed to stay between you and me for the time being. She has to be prepared for it psychologically. Well, I'll prepare her for it. I don't want you to bring that up in front of her again, Zach. I mean it. How are we going to schedule it if we can't talk about it? Well, you, you'll schedule it when you hear from us about it. You know, I, I... I don't want her to think that it's of primary importance to you. Understood? I understand, but what about you? I mean, you realize how important this is, I hope. Well, it, what I realize doesn't matter. It's, it's Eden's peace of mind that concerns me. I'm sorry if I upset either of you. That certainly wasn't what I intended. No. Zach? Look. Yes? I'm glad you're still here. Listen, I wanted to ask you. Do you think it would be a good time for me to tell my family? It seems so unrealistic for me to not say anything. I know how excited they would be for me. I, I guess this would be a good time. Well, as long as you think I'm healthy and there aren't any complications. There don't appear to be any. Great. <laughs> okay. Well, then I think we should call the family and get a meeting together and tell everybody. As long as you don't think there's any danger of me losing the baby. No, uh, as far as you're progressing, I think you're doing just fine. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, no, I had very little to do with it. I, well, I am glad that I could make you happy. Thanks. But... Anyway, uh, I'll see you soon, and would you call me in a couple of days? I sure will. Good. Yeah, so long. So long. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can't wait to tell my mother that we're having a baby, and, and Daddy, he's, he's going to be so thrilled, and... I mean, Mama, can you imagine the look on her face? Yeah, Ted and Kelly and Lisa. Do you think I'm going to be able to get everybody on the phone? I, I mean, I, I know it's short notice and everything. Threatening. Oh. No, seriously, I, you know, are you sure you want to make a big production of this right now? Cruz, this is something that people have been waiting for for a really long time. And I don't see any reason not to tell them, do you? I want whatever makes you happy, baby. I'm sorry, Miss Saunders. I really don't have time to give interviews to the press. If you were Tom Brokaw, I wouldn't be able to tell you more than what's been officially released. And I thought we had come to an understanding just the other day about working together. Oh, did we? Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't understand that. Well, you said that you had trusted me, and I thought that I had earned that trust because I didn't release a certain tape which I still have in my possession. A tape which might prove the laxity of police protection for untried suspects. Look, I want the exclusive on this story, and if you give it to me, I will never release that tape or anything else that you don't want me to make public. I will play totally by your rules. Well, I'll tell you this much. 
I'm going to be the one that catches this guy. Not Castillo, not anybody else. I am. I believe you. And when you do, you are entitled to full credit, which you'll get if someone trustworthy is on the scene first. Deal? I'm willing to cooperate. Up to a point. All right. Let's start with Kane Garver. You ask me what I think, I'm more interested to know what you think of it. Personal opinions don't matter, and I don't have anything solid in the way of evidence. Only suspicions. But you are suspicious of him? For circumstantial reasons. He was near the scene the last time the rapist was spotted. He has a very shaky history and a very interesting psychological profile. But I can tell you this much. We're keeping our eye on him. And uh, if anything comes of it, you'll be the first to know. But right now, I've got work to do. Well, uh, thank you, Lieutenant. You have no idea how helpful you have been. And I think that this can be very profitable for both of us.